Welcome to the Barbados Today News Brief for Tuesday, March 12, 2013. I'm Kimberly Cummins and here are some of the main stories in this publication. Government's finances are projected to fall short by more than $1.2 billion between now and this time next year. See our main story on page 3. Hundreds of NetSpeak customers are being severely inconvenienced and technical officials from telecommunications provider line can't seem to put their fingers on the reason why. More of this story in our back page. The end of the multi-million dollar social investment fund will not mean more hurt for Barbadians already experiencing hardship. This assurance from Minister of Finance Chris Sinclair. See pages 6 and 7 for this story and more coverage of today's full sitting of the House of Assembly continues on pages 8 and 9. On pages 4 and 5, the Central Bank of Barbados is, mon is monitoring a credit card security breach which now has local banks and their cardholders nervous. While in the world news, Beyonce, Jay-Z, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, U.S. President Joe Biden, and the U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder are among a group of celebrities whose financial details and other private information were hacked and posted online. This story on pages 28 and 29. On, pages si on page 16, 12 women were recognized for their contribution to society. In the Caribbean today, on pages 26 and 27, St. Vincent and the Grenadines Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez is proposing that a facility there be named in the honor of the late Venezuelan Prime Minister Hugo Chavez. And in Trinidad and Tobago, more than 200 cases of rape, incest, and sexual abuse were reported for the year to date in central Trinidad. And finally, in sports, West Indies bowled out Zimbabwe cheaply today in the first test at Kensington Oval, but then lost two late wickets. Read the details on, of the day's play on pages 39. This has been the Barbados Today News Brief on behalf of videographer Gregory Waldron. I'm Kimberly Cummins. See you next time.